This is the ASUS ROG Flow X13, a rather peculiar product. Although it's marketed as a gaming laptop, its feature set is more akin to that of a premium productivity laptop, a very good one at that. Not only does it have a 16x10 display, which is more commonly found on productivity laptops, it also has very, very respectable battery life as well as a convertible form factor. So if you want a premium productivity laptop that can also do some gaming on the side, consider this gaming laptop. If you're wondering why, keep on watching this review of the Flow X13. First, let's talk about the hardware of the Flow X13 first. For the Malaysian market, there are three distinct variants of this laptop, but in my opinion, this particular configuration offers the best value for money. It has a powerful AMD Ryzen 9 5900H S processor and NVIDIA GTX 1650 GPU, 1TB one of SSD storage, 16GB of RAM, as well as a 13.4-inch Full HD IPS screen with a fast 120Hz refresh rate. For this kind of hardware, you only need to pay 6,499 ringgit. Okay, that is not a small amount, but this is basically the ballpark of a typical premium productivity laptop anyway. Now that we've got that out of the way, let's talk about the positives of the ROG Flow X13. The reason why I say it's such a good productivity laptop is because it has very, very good battery life. On average, I can get between 7 to 8 hours of use on a single charge, and that is very impressive. Keep in mind that this laptop is powered by a Ryzen 9 5900HS octa-core processor which is very very powerful. So the fact that you can still get this long battery life with such a powerful processor certainly shows AMD's power efficiency. And then there's the screen of the Flow X13 which is very pleasant to look at. Again, it is a 13.4 inch Full HD display with a 120Hz refresh rate so every single motion on this screen looks extra smooth. Aside from that, it also has wide viewing angles as well as vibrant punchy colors. The fact that this is also a 16x10 display means that it won't feel quite as cramped as more mainstream 16x9 displays because there is more vertical space. Another feature of the Flow X13 that I really quite like is its convertible nature. Say I don't need the keyboard, I could just flip it back and bring the screen closer to myself or I could just push the screen all the way back and turn it into a tablet. But tipping the scales at 1.3 kilogram, it's not exactly a tablet that you want to lug around too much. Aside from its convertible nature, another reason why I think it's such a good productivity laptop are its input devices. The keyboard for one offers just enough key travel to not feel shallow and the fact that the keys have a pretty pronounced tactile bump also makes for a pleasant typing experience. As for the trackpad, it can track my fingers rather accurately as well, much like the trackpad of a good premium productivity laptop. Even though the Flow X13 has a lot of good things going for it, it also has a number of shortcomings starting with the graphics card under the hood of this laptop. As I've mentioned before, it is only powered by a GTX 1650 GPU and while it is not a bad GPU by any means, it's certainly not reflective of the 6499 ringgit price tag of this gaming laptop. Sure, in more casual games, the 1650 can easily run Genshin Impact but if you want to play more graphically demanding games like Borderlands 3, you do have to turn down the graphics settings quite a bit to get at least 30 FPS. The thing is, this laptop is actually designed to be connected to the ROG XG Mobile external GPU enclosure to get even better gaming performance. But unfortunately enough, that particular accessory is only reserved for the 13,499 configuration of this laptop and that is a lot of money. If you're wondering why you can't just purchase the XG Mobile separately, that's because you cannot at this moment in time, unfortunately enough. Anyway, aside from the graphics performance of the Flow X13, its system noise could be further improved as well. Outside of gaming, the laptop is basically whisper quiet, but once I do get into a game like say Genshin Impact, the fans definitely make themselves heard, which can get a little bit annoying. The palm rest area also gets a little bit warm in extended gaming sessions, but at least it doesn't get to the point where it is too uncomfortable. Okay. 
we've talked about the positives and negatives of the Asus ROG Flow X13. So the question now is, is it worth your money? Well, retailing from 5,999 ringgit, it is definitely not a cheap gaming laptop. But that really is the going rate for premium productivity laptops in the market now. On top of that, the Flow X13 actually offers better value for money because it has a dedicated GPU. Premium productivity laptops at this price point usually only come with integrated GPU like the Intel Iris Z graphics. All in all, not only does the Flow X13 offer reasonably good gaming performance, I mean compared to a productivity laptop, it also has a powerful processor, excellent battery life, good build quality as well as a fast 120Hz display. With that said, if you want an excellent productivity laptop with reasonably good gaming performance, I wholeheartedly recommend the Flow X13. However, if you get this laptop expecting it to run AAA games without a hitch, then you will be disappointed with this laptop. That is, unless you get the 13,499 configuration, which comes with the XG Mobile external GPU enclosure. Hopefully, ASUS will eventually sell the XG Mobile separately because although this is a very good laptop in its own right, it would be even more attractive if it can be connected to the XG Mobile as an add-on purchase. And that is it for this review of the ASUS ROG Flow X13. If you like this video, leave a like, subscribe to our channel if you haven't already, and always stay tuned for more good stuff to come here on this channel and nextshift.com.